Hey guys, today we're going to go over median home prices in all of Telecounty. I'll give you the specifics for Telecounty as a whole, and then we'll break it down by each city or zip code, so that way you can get a good idea of what to expect in different areas. Stay tuned to the end so you get all the information. Hey guys, I'm James Dean, team leader of the James E. Mountain Homes team. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Just really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell. That keeps you updated on all the new videos that we have coming out weekly. Uh, and we've got several that come out each week um, on this channel, so please, please stay up to date with that. Also, if you've got any questions whatsoever that are real estate related or just in the community, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and give us a call. You can either call us at 719-266-2725 Five. You can text us to that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net. Please, whatever you got to do to get those questions to us, please ask. We're here to help. We're here to provide value to you and helping you make informed decisions, whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate or just typical questions for the community out here. We are local experts of this area and we love this area. So please, please, please reach out to us and we hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, guys. So today we're talking about meeting home prices in Olatella County, and we'll break that down by city. So first, First, we'll go over uh, what the combined median home price is for 2023 as of July 1st of 2023 in Tallah County, and then we'll go over areas specifically like Wilton Park, Divide, Florissant, and Cripple Creek, just to give you an idea so you have a good snapshot of what to expect in all of these areas. So starting off with Tallah County, as of July 1st, 2023, for the year 2023, the median home price across the board is sitting just below 500,000 at 499,000. Now we've got areas that are closer, you know, in the Woodland Park area that are gonna raise that value, whereas your cheaper areas out in the farther western places in Florissant and Cripple Creek are typically a little bit less uh, price per square foot and just less in value in general because it's further away from the Colorado Springs area and the heavy populous area of Woodland Park. So that just kind of gives you an idea of Tele County as a snapshot. Now we're gonna go over and we're gonna talk about Woodland Park. In the town of Woodland Park for 2023, the median home price for the entire year has been $534,500. With the year 2022, we saw it reach the top out at 550. You might be saying, wait, I've seen some videos and it showed some progressive appreciation compared to 2022 on there that we've been seeing. This is just a different statistic that we're looking at and you gotta remember we had some serious low inventory and some serious um, low values at the beginning of this year, but they have rebounded dramatically. This is the entire snapshot for this year so far, which is only half the year gone by, but $534,500 for the median home price within Woodland Park. Now in the city of Divide, we've seen that jump up quite a bit. The median home price in Divide is $592,260 for 2023. Why is it so much higher than Woodland Park? Well, you're starting to kind of get into a much smaller populace when you get in Divide, Florissant, and Cripple Creek. And here's what can happen and here's what has happened in the Divide area. We've had some larger homes that are worth a whole lot more that have started to kind of skew that number. But you get a lot more bang for your buck in that area because you typically get a lot more land and you get a better price per square foot in the Divide area compared to Woodland Park. But you still have easy access to get into Woodland Park and Colorado Springs. So Divide, Divide is sitting at 592 to 60 for the median home price. In the town of Florissant, we see that definitely dip. We're sitting at $470,000 for the median home value in the town of Florissant. Now, Florissant is our biggest swath of area. It goes from just west of Divide, so it connects to Divide there on that western side, and it goes all the way towards Park County and ends at the end of the Tele County area. That is the largest zip code in Tele County, bar none, and it can get really get way out there um, in the boonies with lots of dirt roads. It could take you 45 minutes sometimes depending on where you are on Florissant just to get back to a hardball road or a, a concrete road or asphalt road. So in Florissant, we're looking at a significantly less amount for the median home price. And then finally, we have the town of Cripple Creek where it's going to drop dramatically and we're looking at $255,000 for the median home price. And that's going to be a much older area. It's an old gold mine area. You're going to have much smaller homes in that area and you're really away from a, large, a lot of large or bigger areas. 
that are sitting within Tella County, but that's the median home price in Cripple Creek. So I hope this kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect in different areas than Tella County as far as pricing is concerned. Obviously, the closer you get to Wildham Park, the closer you get to Colorado Springs, really, you really start to see those home values go up uh, because of the easy proximity to getting into Colorado Springs as a primary city for a lot of options that you might not have here in Teller County. Now, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this little series that we've got going on and we've already started it where we're showing you homes in the median home price with the Wilton Park. Uh, we're going to go a couple hundred thousand above that too so you can kind of see where that is and where that sits on there and then we're going to do the same thing for Divide, Florissant, and Cripple Creek as well so that you have an idea of what you're going to get for your money out there and so it'll help you decide okay maybe it is worth being a little bit further away from Colorado Springs because I get this or no it absolutely is not worth it. I will pay more to be closer to Colorado Springs and still be in the mountains and this is what I want. Everybody's got their own personal choice and personal preference on that. But this series as a whole will hopefully help you get a good grasp on that so that you know exactly what's happening within this area in 2023 and you can help plan your next move. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video and once again, before you sign off, make sure you hit that subscription button, that notification bell down below. That will keep you updated on all the new videos that we have come out that are here to inform you and help keep you updated on what's happening here both in the community and in real estate as well. And once again, too, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call, 719-266-2725. You can text us at that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all of those questions. We're here to serve you, and we look forward to helping you soon.